adding a bunch of um, talking videos to kind of go over what went on in Missouri. I just decided that I would throw in a little bit at the beginning here. Uh, my father-in-law did go home a few hours after he got back, uh, got to Missouri on Monday, and he had to continue his shots in his stomach through the day that we left, and we did end up being able to have a nice visit. We went ahead and celebrated Christmas with them because they won't be able to come up. They are supposed to be here right now. Um, so all of that, uh, he did return to the doctor. There are some blood clots in his legs. The doctors are not super concerned about him, but that he does still have to continue those shots for a few more days because the levels weren't exactly where they wanted them to be. Um, also, my daughter decided to start her period while we were there. Um, we saw all the great grandparents. It was a lot. And so on the way home, I pretty much just stared out the window. I didn't knit Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. We came back on Thursday. And I feel like all of the stress finally like just caught up with me and I was just kind of like a vegetable. I was so tired, so worn out, so in shock about my daughter. <laughs> um, it went okay. It was just very unexpected. She's not even 11 yet. Um, I can't believe that I have a daughter who does that. Um, are you going to go night-night? Night-night. Okay. Night-night. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, a real one? Thanks. Goodbye. <coughs> Bye. Love you. Okay. So, then yesterday, we kind of got back and we were like, okay, we have to figure all of this stuff out really quickly because these days that we kind of missed being at home and getting everything done, we need to like make up for them. So we had to go grocery shopping and we did some, a little bit of Christmas shopping. And as it turns out, we only have stockings left for um, the two littles, a birthday present for Isaac and we're good. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, a lot of times we, I feel like we're always missing something, but I think that this year we were able to pull it off and everybody has good things that they're really going to like. And we can mostly stop shopping except my husband won't give me any good ideas for him. So I have absolutely nothing for him. So that's not great. While we were in Missouri, uh, well, actually, on the way down, I did knit on my Christmas sock, and I got myself to the heel. Then we watched Jura the newest Jurassic World. I don't even know if it has a different name. While we were um, there, and I put the heel in during that, uh, there wasn't light, and, of course, it was a scary dinosaur movie. And so, <laughs> I'm not really sure how well this is going to fit. But So, I am ready to start just going up the leg on this. And I'm still hopeful to have it done. But I haven't worked on it since I put the heel in, uh, I think, on Tuesday. Then, the other thing that I worked on, despite the fact that I took two sweaters three sweaters actually because I took Isaac's sweater as well. Two for me. My advent calendar. I didn't work on anything else but these two things. I believe the last time you saw these they did have a heel in them but I worked on just the cuff and truthfully, I'm getting decently close to being ready to start the ribbing on Isaiah's socks. So I have those, and then I picked out the yarn for Violet's socks. 
but I don't know where I put it, so. Hmm. They're actually going to be the same yarn, the Chili Knits yarn that I made socks for at the beginning of the year and put in the fair. So if you are a podcast watcher, then you will have seen those. Another thing that came, and I feel bad showing this right now because, of course, it's awful lighting. I was able to get this um, held up at the post office before we left on Monday morning. And it is the set from Lofty Loops, Little Bitty Delights, and Yarn Monster. So here is the bag. And it has a sparkly bottom. It's from Yarn Monster. The Little Bitty Delights charm. See how well I can get that to focus. It's not great. Sorry. I'm not good at the focus, but it is a delightful little, um, like a sugar cookie. And then the Lofty Loops yarn is also sparkly and goes perfectly with the bag. So here's my little set all together. I'm super happy about this. It's beautiful and I can't wait to wear use wear it. Use it and I can use this all winter. So that came and then we did do Christmas with them. And so this year I they were asking me for ideas and I was like, "You know what? Would it be easier if I just like found stuff and sent you links?" And so that's what we did. So I don't know if that's bad or not, but so we did for everybody. And I think they appreciated it because then they could just pick from links uh, what they wanted to get and didn't have to like try to interpret what I was talking about and yada yada. Anyway, so the things that I put on there that I received include locking pin backs and I actually noticed that one of my pins had fallen off um, since we came home, so those will be great to have. I got this enormous bag of those like gourd-shaped metal removable stitch markers. There's a thousand in here. I bet these are all lost before my birthday in May. Then I asked for a set of the Twist Minis from Chow Goo and got an extra 40, well, what will make a 47 inch cord uh, to go with those. So I have not broken those out yet, but I'm super stoked to have that now. So I don't have to worry about if I have a yarn that I need a slightly different size or anything like that. And it looks like my Missouri vlog finally saved. So that's good. So basically, I think that's most of what's been going on. It's been kind of a bleh, stressful time and today we kind of just chilled and hung out. I had thought about taking the girls to Omaha and doing that whole thing, but it was better just to kind of be at home and relax a little after being gone all week. And tomorrow is going to be an extremely busy day. We have our church program and then there's a school program which is preschool through second graders but also the fifth graders play um, in the band. So this year we have Lizzie in the program and Emma plays in the band. We've had we'll be in this program. We figured it out one time for like the next like 12 or some years because kids go in and out of it. So we'll always have I think we'll always have two, but there may be times when we only have one, but anyways. So we have that and then we're going to try to do the Omaha stuff. So we did the little kids got a train table, which I took a little bit of footage earlier of and Mike put that together and 
it is completely on me and not on my mother-in-law because I did send a link for the train table, but it is bigger than I thought. So it's taking up a pretty good chunk of my dining room right now, but that's okay. The kids loved it. They played with it for hours today and I'm sure that it will continue to be something that they play with a lot. So today, um, I hadn't knitted in three days. I also am starting to kind of feel pressure that uh, Christmas is coming really soon. So I got my husband to wind up my minis, uh, the four minis that I hadn't done yet. So I'm all cut up on my Advent square. This is the second square. I feel like those golds are a little bit less similar than they look in the camera. This one it has more brown. Maybe that's more accurate. So I got caught up on those. And then the other thing that I did. Seriously, I need it. Just let me finish in this one end. Oh my goodness. My end weaving in elf is being very slow. Actually, he has a huge pile. Because I finished Lizzie's socks already. Mm -hmm. And he needs to do those too. Michael. So. Turn upside down. I grabbed this today. I would have probably much rather been working on something else, but Christmas is coming very, very quickly. And so I did work on Isaac's sweater and I have both sleeves now that look funny because they just got turned but so his sweater is done other than the ends which Mike is working on because he doesn't have to write a sermon for tomorrow because it's the kids program so that is absolutely off a light it's like reflecting off of everything but so Isaac and Lizzie's are done Emma's is mostly done I just have to do the little button Isaiah's I'm pretty close on and Violet's I at least have yarn picked out but hers are just going to be tube socks there's no heels so it's just a toe and some stockinette and a cuff um, and plus you know they're not very big around so hers should man I would hope I could do those in a day I don't know probably depends on if I'm doing anything else so that about wraps it up, I think, for today and for back until Monday. I don't think that there's anything that I missed, but I'm hoping that now we're back. We kind of had a day to settle in. Today we kind of vegged that I will be able to get back into the spirit of doing Vlogmas um, and getting these out on a daily basis. I also forgot I took footage this morning, but also my winter solstice yarn box started on the 15th, which was today. So that is on there as well. So now I will have two until it is officially winter time on the 21st. And um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow and have a good night.